Greetings. My name is Scott. I'm doing a project in my dining room. I'm putting in a ceiling, a drop ceiling. I've constructed the two beams. You can see there's one there, and then there's another one on the floor, I think, right there. Or wait, yeah, that's about right. And the beams are going to be suspended from the ceiling and by hooks, but at the edges of the ceiling, I need to have like this uh, supporting framework for the edges of the uh, beadboard, which is going to lay in across that way. So I'm using my favorite building material, which is this uh, oak stock, and I'm. You can see how I'm securing this to the ceiling using uh, clamps and spacers using my trusty stud finder, which by the way, I keep on this handy shelf right here, which is not a step. Don't ever step on that. It can't support your weight. You'll fall and it might hurt. Where was I? Ah, using spacers and using my stud finder, I went through and conveniently marked on, on the, uh, the beams, the, the two by four in the wall there, uh, where the actual studs were. Off here to the other side, I've gone ahead and you can see that I've put a 45 degree bevel on this so that I can join the other piece to it. Here's the trick. I'm going to put the corners in first. because I'm going to put the corners in first and I'm going to leave a gap at the end of this one. Probably about a foot, maybe two feet, maybe three feet. And then I'll measure the gap and I'll slide that piece right in there and it'll be a perfect fit because I don't want to mess up the edges. I want the corners to look good. I want my bevels to meet the way that they should. So often when you look at somebody else's woodwork, you see that they didn't get the bevels to fit. And I'm just explaining how to do, how to do, how I'm going to do that. Uh, I'm going to use my jig. I'm just going to get my jig right up here and I'm going to drill. I'm going to, I may take it down to do that. Yep. I think I am. I'm going to take it down to do that part. I'm going to go ahead and mark on here where the studs are and then I'm going to take it to my workbench put the uh, put the little uh, holes in the, the countersinking holes that's called a countersink that's what that's called and then I'm going to drill the, the little narrow little hole that's going to be and then I'm going to use my wood screws and I'm going to screw it right to the wall there you have it and hopefully this will, uh, this will come out working the way I oh hey don't forget subscribe